Here's Morris. Again, the Australian Brad Smith. And locked away behind by Delgado. Jonathan Osorio. Touch out of play by Jovan Jones. Diaz. Endo. It's the Brazilian Auro. That's a guided effort from Benazé. Sliding is Morris. To show due respect to a team that's gone to the top two in the East. CFC and Atlanta and down the pair of them. Yes, wins his duel with Nicola Benese. very good job of just being fluid in the midfield and then opening up channels going the other way and a big part of that is watch the positioning of Michael Bradley today he's not sitting in between Mavinga and Omar Gonzalez he's pushed further up the field and now right here on cue he can play them out of trouble seized upon by Morris and now the crowd are engaged with the Sounders bearing down on goal Not a bad gift, right? It's yeah. kind of like your contract calling games with me. <laughs> <laughs> Certain snacks to it, Taylor. Benazé, and it was Osorio who had the chance to draw back the right boot. They've been fluid in the final third so far. code of football in America. Last year, 73,000 people in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Torres. Support for Roldan. And Rui Diaz with the header. Torres. It's not the best of clearances. And this is Osorio. Now it's Pozuelo. And Torres to clear. Given up to Roldan. And Seattle suddenly on the front foot. To be taken by Ladero. Just over Svensson. And coming in behind was the greater threat of Roman Torres. Delgado. And now it's Morrow back to Michael Bradley. Delgado. Gonzalez giving the ball up pretty tamely to roll down. He sets Morris on his way. Morris clipping it goalwards well within the compass of Quentin Westbrook. Omar Gonzalez putting his hand up. That wasn't on Michael Bradley. That's on Omar Gonzalez being too casual with the ball at his feet. Obviously, this being a cup final, he knew he was going to be in the 18. I just think the bigger question is, what kind of role is he going to play today? The other part is Jovan Jones and Jordan Morris are almost playing as wingbacks. They're defending so deep. To back six at times. Absolutely. Here's Michael Bradley lining one up. For Seattle, this is game number 39, which more likely raced. That back pass by Kim. Completely miscued it. Benazé. by Torres. He's got Ladero and Rui Diaz ahead of him. 
And Madero encourages Smith to continue his gallop. What a tackle. What a tackle that is from Michael Bradley. Jones. Svensson. Another corner. Near down. Torres. Bradley to the rescue. Number seven of the game for Seattle. And someone's just turned up the volume. Ladero. Good claim by Westberg. Well protected by those around him. No! It seemed like there was a case there for a Toronto throw. Osorio. Benazé. And again, it's a strong hand by Fry, and just as well for him that it was a rave green shirt, that of Kim that was closest to him. Look at the, uh, the, the relentlessness from Toronto. Seattle can't get out of their own end. And how's this for a save from Stephen Fry? On wet turf, to make sure you get a strong enough hand to parry that wide? What a big time save from Stefan Fry, our target goalpost game says it all. And Ladero picking up the baton for Seattle. And then turned right into trouble. Michael Bradley. Well done. Ladero and Rui Diaz with a chance after Gonzalez had dithered. Westbrook's come up big in key moments, but Omar Gonzalez has absolutely no idea where Rui Diaz is. That's the definition off the back shoulder as an attacking player. You want to make sure that that center back. Jovin Jones, Michael Bradley. That hit Mavinga comes out to Smith. Seattle very close to claiming a half-time advantage. And at that point, Alan Chapman blows his whistle to draw to a conclusion. A fascinating half, an unexpected one in terms of the passage and the balance of the play, which Toronto have played the more threatening part to this point. And Taylor Twelman alongside me, a tactical tweak by the, Seand the uh, Seattle Sounders head coach Brian Schmetzer at the break. This is Benazé, very impressive in the first half. Jonathan Osorio. Benazé. Here's Delgado, and in the way was Smith. Now Morris. Cut three on the right-hand side now. Pozuelo. Osorio blocked out as far as Benazé to strike. Now this is Jones. And it's Rui Diaz. It's dug out for Leardam. Kelvin Leardam, it's an own goal. Justin Morrow. Leardam let fly. Work from Brad Smith and Jovan Jones to get forward. The ball switches the point of attack to Kelvin Leardham, who had five goals in the regular season as a right back. Deflection off of Mavinga and Morrow doesn't matter completely against the run of play. Still under contract to Bournemouth in the EPL. Victor Rodriguez, the former Barcelona junior. Nick De Leon replacing Subasa Endo. Well 
the spearhead of a Canadian triumph in 2017 when he was named most valuable player. Rodriguez, Rui Diaz. And as far as Roldan, he'll drive one. In the next five, six minutes here, that completely changed change the game and turn it on its edge. Oh, mistake there, involving Gonzalez. There's Morris. In fact, the ball had gone out of play for a corner. Morris, Sanders looking to land the killer blow. Rodriguez, it's Ladero. Rodriguez, corner. Svensson. Rodriguez. Oh, beautifully done. Smooth, sweet. Guided into the bottom corner. He's Barcelona educated. He operates between the lines. He's very good in tight spaces. What a layoff from Nicolas Ladero. But look at the movement from Victor Rodriguez. Non-existent from the Seattle Sounders when that was Jovan Jones. You bring in that player of that quality? Pick the ball out of the back of the net, Westberg. De Leon. Gonzalez, and that's a really stout piece of defending by Leerdam. Altidore. Larea. Just a collision, not a foul, says Alan Chapman, the referee. It's a stride off the pitch. Larea. De Leon. Pozuelo and Stefan Fry came for it. Gonzalez was there, so too was Moro. It's a goal kick. Never say die attitude has been all about Toronto this postseason. They've won all three games after the 75th minute. Now they've got Omar Gonzalez forward. Arrived from Germany in the 1960s and set up Schmetzer's Sport House, which was the place where you go to buy soccer gear. Here comes Rui Diaz through the middle to crown it for Seattle. They truly can start the celebrations. It's the Sounders MLS Cup. It doesn't matter. Raul Rui Diaz, he may only be 5'7, 145 pounds, but his presence on the field, you feel like he's 6'5, 300. He punches you right in the face for 90 minutes. Deal with it. In six career playoff games, He's got seven goals, three assists. And into a second MLS Cup triumph in the space of four years. Pozuelo. Altidore. It's one back. It's surely too little, too late. But Jose Altidore has scored again in MLS Cup. Every single Toronto player will ask themselves the question, what if? Because make no mistake about it, if he's healthy, he changes the... ...of those players on duty again today. Out comes Fry. The most secure of last lines of defence. Here's Ladero. And the referee decides that enough is enough. That is the sound of success of the Seattle Sounders' success.